da, ba, ba, da, ba, 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 da. All right, all right, quick story, quick story. One time, I was walking around the supermarket looking for some olives, and I asked the lady, where are your olives? And she said, we don't have any olives. And then I said, well, I just want some couple olives. Do you got any? And she was like, no, we don't have any olives. And then I was like, okay. And so I looked for the olives instead of listening to her, and I found the olives. So that just goes to show you kids, never listen to old people. No, that's wrong. Never listen to someone, especially if they sound angry or mad, because likely they're not telling you the truth and they're speaking out of their butt. In today's musical challenge, we're going to be attempting to make Eye of the Tiger using a tiger. Well, aren't you just the precious little one? Tigers are wonderful kitties. They're, they're so cute, and they, they're just like kitties. You can go up to them and pet them. That's wrong. Don't do that. Don't go up to a tiger and pet it. It'll, it'll, it'll chomp you. Did you know that around half of tiger cubs don't even live past the age of two? That's a harsh world. That's a pretty... That's, that's harsh. No wonder they could be so cranky. All right, let's check out some tiger sounds. I found a few sources of sounds online. This one is from a guy who apparently owns tigers, and he was about to feed the tiger, and then once he gave the tiger food... Well, those tiger instincts kicked in. And immediately, <laughs> to be honest, if I was a tiger, I'd be roaring all the time. No one really questions a tiger's roar. Tigers just roar. That's what they do. But if I go into like a goodwill and I start screaming, People are like, yo, dude, what are you doing? You just can't do that. You can't. All right, the first idea I'm having is to make a synthesizer using the tiger's vibrating. Actually, I have no idea what's vibrating. Tigers have vocal folds that like, and they can, and they can roar so loud that you, you, Oh my gosh. Okay, so apparently they can roar so loud that they can paralyze things. Wait, how is that even possible? Okay, 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 vibrations are so cool. So bass frequencies like below 20 hertz, that of which a tiger can produce, can travel through walls because they're more likely to produce resonance in the walls. That means triggering the resonant frequency of the wall so the wall itself shakes and then produces its own sound on the other side or both sides. So it's kind of like you tickle a wall with your sound waves and then the wall starts laughing with its own sound waves and it starts tickling other people. And and the same thing happens with the tiger. The tiger tickles you so much that you, you might get paralyzed on top of the, the lion screaming in your face you might get a little tickled and it might spook you. It actually might do a little bit more than just that. Research it yourself and comment below what you think. I don't know. So that's the tiger growl, also known as a purr. Now I'm gonna take out the high end frequencies so you can hear just the bass. And yeah, let's map that tiger to the keyboard and see what we can do with it. Okay, it's highly likely this will not sound good, but we're just gonna go right for it anyways, cause what the heck. That sounds really cool. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, I'm gonna try and enhance the bass frequencies and lower some of the parts. Well, this is already sounding a lot better than I thought it would. Let's check out some more tiger sounds. Yeah, that'd definitely make me crap my pants if I was in person. Luckily, I've got the protection of the interwebs here, so let's try and make that into some, um, how about a snare drum? If you listen closely, it sounds like the tiger is making a chord with this roar. I think some notes in the vocal chords of the roar are naturally enhanced and it does sound like a minor chord. Let's kind of boost those frequencies and see what it sounds like. 
Now, if that's not a good reason why a tiger's roar is so frightening, I don't know what is. It's making a minor chord, kind of. And it's roaring and it's vibrating your body. Holy heck, tigers are awesome. Gently tap the like button if you want to see me go record some sounds from some live tigers. That would be so cool. Okay, when the tiger sucks in his air, I think what we can do is we can make a rising, a riser for our drop. So like, whoop. Wow, I could, I'm, um, wow. Comment on this video if you want tiger dubstep, because I will do that. Okay, here's the song. Have a good day.